Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about rational exponents to its radical form. And at the end of the video, we will reverse the process wherein we are given a radical form and then we will transpose it or convert it into expression with rational exponents. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is this. We have here transformed the following to its radical form. So this one is an expression or the general form for expression with rational exponent. The base here is a and the exponent is m over n. Now to transform this one into the radical form, basically the denominator of the, of the exponent will become the index of the radical. Well, the numerator of the exponent of the rational exponent will become the exponent of the radicand. So we have here three examples and I will show you how to transform these expressions with rational exponents into its radical form. So your base will serve as the radicand. First, you will draw the radical sign. Copy your base inside and then this denominator 3 will become the index. And then, the numerator 2 will serve as the numerator of your radicand. Now, as you can see, this one is already in radical form. But, we can simplify 3 square. 3 square is equal to 9. Therefore, the final answer for number 1 is the cube root of 9. This is the answer for item number 1. Now, let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, Compared to number 1, we have a single base here. Here in number 2, we have two bases, which is 2 and n. And the two bases are raised by 3 over 5. Ngayon, ang gagawin mo dito is ganito. Gawa ka muna ng radical sign. And then, as you can see, the denominator is 5. That is your index. Fifth root. Copy your base, which is 2n. And then the exponent will be the 3. So, in close mo lang sa parenthesis to, then raise by 3. So, what will happen here is we will distribute the exponent. Mangyayari dito, ito. The fifth root of 2 cube, then n cube. Then distribute natin yung exponent sa dalawang base natin. So, what will happen, yung 2 cube natin will become 8. Meaning, the final answer is simply the fifth root of 2 cube is 8 and then n cube. This is the answer for item number 2. Let's continue with item number 3. Let us compare number 2 with number 3. Here, the only base raised by the rational exponent 3 over 2 is simply b. 3 is not included. So, what will happen, sir? So, basically, ito muna yung gawin natin. That is, the square root of b cube. You index natin na 2, galing dito. Kapag ang index mo is 2, you can express that as an invisible number or an invisible index. And the numerator exponent here will become 3. So, what will happen with this base? It will be put outside the radical sign. Hindi siya index ha, isa siyang coefficient. Ang sagot natin ngayon is this. 3 square root of b cube or ang proper basa dito is 3 times the square root of b cube. So I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung method natin on how to transform expression with the rational exponent into its radical form. So let's continue with the next part. I told you earlier that we will reverse the process. We're in as we are done. If we are done with transforming exponential form to radical form, we reverse naman natin from radical form to exponential form. So what will happen here? Look at the pattern. We have the nth root of a raised to m is equal to a raised to m over n. So paano pa ito? Yung radicand mo, na a, will serve as the base. The exponent of 
your radicand m will serve as the numerator of the exponent. The index will become the denominator of the rational exponent. Dito, puntahan natin. I'm gonna use a different color of marker. Meron tayo dito invisible na 2, so I'm gonna write it para ma-notice ma nyo. What will happen here is that it will become this one. Copy your x. This exponent will become the numerator exponent over the index, which is 2. Meaning, the equivalent exponential form of the square root of x cubed is simply x raised to 3 over 2. And this is the answer, guys. Now, let's move on with item number 2. We have this one. Cube root of 7x to the 4th power. Here, the exponent 4 is for x only. So, what will happen here, sir? What will happen? Copy mo lang yung radicand mo. 7x to the 4th power. And then, meron siya ditong exponent sa labas na 1. Magiging na siya. Raise to 1 over 3. So, saan ang galing yung 1? Meron siya ditong invisible exponent na 1. Okay? Then, your index, ito. Then, yung ating dalawang bases na x and x to the 4th power, enclose natin sa parenthesis. Punta naman natin to. So, what about this example? Here, as you can see, meron tayong visible exponent. Kurin mo to, magiging 8 and raised to the 3rd power. Enclosed by parenthesis. Then, 7 over 5. Pwede natin maging sagot natin. So, enclose na natin to ng box. Ito rin. Meron ba tayong pwedeng simplify dito? Wala na. So, enclose na natin to by box. Again, yung base natin, kinuha natin 8n cube. Since meron tayo ito naka-enclose sa parenthesis, meaning sakop niya lahat, 7, and then your index will become the denominator. Lastly, let's have this one. We have the square root of 5 over x squared. So, sir, paano po ito? Um, kung basic na nagagawin natin transformation na naman, copy natin yung 5 over x cubed. And then, enclose by parenthesis kasi meron to invisible 1 na exponent. Ito meron naman, meron tong 2 as index. So, to become 5 over x cubed raised to 1 half. As simple as that, guys. Okay? Meron ba kayong tanong? If meron kayong question, feel free to comment down below. And I hope, guys, na natutunan nyo on how to transform radical rational exponents or expressions with rational exponents to its radical form. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!